So the next project that students are going to make is the crane, which is another one of the ancient Greek inventions we're going to study this week. Um, hopefully what they see or what they notice is that the crane, like the catapult, uses a lever to move objects. You can start the lesson by asking them where they usually see cranes. Um, and they'll probably say that they see them at construction sites around the city and they're usually moving heavy objects from one place to another. And you can say, yes, and we're gonna do that today. Um, we're not gonna move heavy objects, we're gonna move paper clips. But what we want them to see is how the lever works in this machine. And you want to review just the different parts of the lever. And they'll probably say the fulcrum first, it's easy to remember. And ask them what the fulcrum does and hopefully they say that it's the pivot point or it's the point on which the lever rests and turns and they could point here. It's very similar to the catapult model in terms of um, the box catapult where the fulcrum was. So here's the fulcrum and then hopefully they'll point out the different types of arms on the lever. So the force arm or the effort arm, the arm that you push on is right here on the lever. Okay, and then the load arm or weight arm where the weight is resting is right here. Um, you could ask them what's a little bit different about that in terms of the levers that we looked at on the first day and they'll probably say it's different because it's bent. The other levers that we were looking at were straight and that's true and ask them for another difference and they'll probably say that instead of the weight resting on the arm, it's actually hanging off the arm this time which is a little bit different. And that's good for them to notice, so as long as they're noticing how the lever works, they can see that it has different shapes depending on what kind of machine it's in or what kind of work it's doing. So let's see if this uh, crane works. We're going to try to lift the magnet into our pile of paper clips. We're going to let it drop, move it back a little bit. Then we're going to use the lever to lift the weight arm. And then we're going to drop the load of paper clips right there. So there we go. A very, very simple model of a crane that uses the lever to lift objects.